Cool. Here we started off with Bitcoin as always, and I want to follow up on a few signals. So the big focus of yesterday was looking at the daily stochastic momentum signal on CME specifically, which was obviously not trading over the weekend. And that was going to kind of judge if we we're going to likely resolve the short term range, the upside or the downside. In this case, obviously, it did remain above the pivot, which was, I believe, 29,750 on closing basis. And of course, we do see this nice move kind of uh, transpire to the upside right here, of which, yes, I do think that it has more to go. On top of that, the reason why I think it has more to go is because we do see that volatility is actually officially expanding right here. In fact, it was actually kind of ex officially expanding on Friday as well. But we now have officially BBWP with a positive slope plus um, a plus the moving average also having a positive slope and obviously BBWP is above the moving average and it's coming in from you know one of the lowest levels from the longest time that we've seen basically since last June July which was actually another major uh, macro bear trap leading into our current all-time high but basically back testing these signals based off of this we have seen an average uh, that is quite different than spot so this 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 is different if you're referencing um, the charts that I was putting out uh, last week and the week prior completely different analysis right here because CME obviously doesn't have the same sort of history, but the same sort of signals have a different history of playing out as well. Anyways, what we have seen on average is about a little bit over a 20% move. Actually, you know, you do see about one, two, three of them just slightly below 20%. And then the other three or four, yeah, there's seven in total, um, are actually a little bit above 30%. So perhaps I'd put that in the middle of about 25%. And in this case, you know, looking at the expansion time, which would have been, I suppose, back down, yeah, right around here. So we can take that, take it from that low. We can play around with numbers for a second, but that'd be about 29.5. If we were to add about 20% to that price action, that puts Bitcoin at around 35,500. If we go for the upper end of that uh, trajectory, then, you know, again, this would be a little more hoping in my opinion, but somewhere around about 30, 38 and a half thousand bucks. So probably Bitcoin does find its way somewhere around there. Um, you know, coming up with a time frame for this to look for, we do see a lot of variance between all of these uh, signals playing out right here. But, you know, if I did have to put an average on it, probably around about two weeks. So sometime around end of this, uh, I guess around end of this month. Yeah, uh, later this month, we probably do see that assuming we do get follow through, which we can now go over validation conditions for the next set of follow through uh, things. So what would that essentially be as Elsa's size in the background? Who knows what the hell that's for? And, 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 and it'd be and it'd essentially be this. This is the same chart that we've been looking at on CME for the past um I think like I think like three weeks now. Yeah, about three weeks now. It's still working. And uh, short term, you know, still looking at the 618 at about uh, 31, 200 or so as given a short term continuation back up to last week's high. Um, you know, I do suspect that Bitcoin probably pulls back in the short term uh, based off that level right there. But that's not like a rejection call. I don't really consider this uh, or it's I don't consider it a rejection at all, especially as long as we're above about 30,400 or so, the 382 in this case. And then, of course, the continuation to those next major targets with likely a stop around the way at about 33, maybe 33 and a half thousand bucks would just be any sort of a move back above last week's high, which which is 32,450, or especially a full hour closing um, uh, dildo above this blue box territory right here, which is about 32, uh, just about 32,000 bucks actually. So one of those would probably do it for me. And then yes, I'd be looking for first move somewhere around the full hour 200 simple, which is also in alignment with the one spot 272, which is about 33 to 33,500. So I'll put in a nice little short term uh, targeted region there if that were to happen. And then, of course, if Bitcoin starts to close higher term time frames above that region, I would be gunning for that thirty five thousand. In fact, probably even a little bit above thirty five thousand uh, bucks uh, region. That also be the well, kind of like a one spot six one eight Fibonacci center from here. But more importantly, it's also the gap fill from the sixth of May that, you know, is still relevant, of course, um, from I guess I was like, that, actually, that was like literally a month ago right now. Um, and then also, if we were to draw a more long term fib on this one, you will notice that the well, you will notice that I don't actually have it properly there because it should be right there. There we go. The not 0.5 is right around uh, about 35,250, which is very much in alignment with one of those projected targets. And we even have the 618 right around the $38,000 level or so. So those would be the two major areas I'd be interested in um, long term, assuming that we do get continuation. And the next sort of major validation for those being relevant would essentially just be a tick above last week's high or, you know, especially closing. Uh, higher term time from above about 32, I think it was, or just above 32 in this case. Other than that, um, let's go through the lower term time frames right now. 
<laughs> I wonder if that was good enough for the person who's like, Crown just, she, he just, he just, he just, <laughs> okay, all right, sir. Um, anyways, uh, in this case right here, um, yeah, so I look at this as valid as long as Bitcoin is above, again, the 382, so that's uh, 30,400 or so, um, especially on like a four hour closing base. If Bitcoin does come back down below there, I would be looking at another run towards uh, our base over the weekend and also that gap fill that we did see from 27th of May. Um, but uh, but in this case, let's go look at and reference our indicators right here. We do see full hour BBWP is looking for expansion, not like a you know super phenomenal uh, major amounts of signal right there, but you know this move likely does have more legs on top of it or under it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, under it. Uh, six hours actually corrective, twelve hours corrective. So perhaps that does put a bit of a damper on the medium term picture. But all lower term time frames look like they are. Yeah, looking for expansion hourly starting to get uh, quite hot right there so very 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 short term we probably do see a bit of an ebb and flow maybe a bit of a pullback again any pullback that just fails to go below about thirty thousand four hundred is not that concerning to me um however i would throw out a bit of caution with any sort of move below about 0.5 at thirty thousand eight hundred or so on a closing basis at that point we probably should come down and test that thirty thousand four hundred region which obviously would you know be a bit uh, more concerning of course anyways other than that let's go check out in reference to cast momentum yeah hourly starting to look a little bit sideways at best probably does trade a bit to the downside here um, let's see what the full hour looks like. Full hour is fresh up and will be remaining with upside posture as long as Bitcoin's above 30,000 uh, and change. Six hour is going to be showing same thing. 30,100, uh, sorry, 30,200 or so is going to be the magical number. 12 hour will turn back up above 30,400 and daily daily remains above about 30,000. So we could even just look at the daily stochastic momentum pivot as um, as 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 basically you know guiding that signal so as long as that stays up that signal is valid and as long as the daily stochastic momentum signal um uh is postured in that way then upside is certainly more likely with those targets in mind if it does flip back down and we do see a failure below that level then you know kind of uh, switches up vice versa for the downside and that would imply back down somewhere around like our current lows twenty six thousand or so which i think is a little bit unlikely right now you know here here's the thing with bitcoin obviously bitcoin has played out or Bitcoin did put in a bit of an inverted hammer dildo right there. And so, you know, that can be a sign of, of, uh, of a bit of a, uh, a bit of a local low, of course, confirming it, you technically want to see a closure above it, but, um, I do think just trading above it on a time frame like this is probably okay. And then what else was I going to say? I mean, basically, you know, Bitcoin, it seems to be getting its first bounce after like just a straight move down from nearly 50,000 bucks to $25,000. So that's like a 50% move to the downside. You know, a bit of a bounce right here is still uh, is, is, you know, is very reasonable long term, though. I just want to reiterate my thoughts. I don't think that Bitcoin has necessarily like put in the low, if you will. Um, I do think that Bitcoin at minimum will probably retest somewhere reasonably close to our current low, maybe even a little bit lower than that. Um, but ultimately, you know, the more that Bitcoin rallies on this next uh, on this next phase, assuming that it does continue with this, the better that those prospects will be for Bitcoin essentially putting in an accumulation range um, within this region right here. So hopefully that was helpful um and there you go sirs and zers uh should i uh, sh i forgot to show instagram yep instagram i have an instagram it's in the description below please be aware though that there's a ton of scammers on there um and uh and i'm never going to ask you to like trade your account or anything like that if you're getting dms from from some sort of similar name than mine it's not me i can assure you of that the only instagram account that i have is in the link description below and we got a buy bit show link as well which you probably shouldn't even use especially if you have no actual working strategy in that case what you could use to actually work out a strategy for free by the way is going over here to the crown trading application and going to the trading journal which it will do it all for you or you can just do pen and paper or you can just do excel but then you have to you know work it out yourself anyway so fair enough teach their own okay cool that's a good place to end this video and Lovely, sirs and sirs.